Hi. I read uh, your paperwork there of uh, all the uh, ways that uh, everything was wired up on your truck and uh, what you've done and everything. Uh, I would suggest that you get a injector harness. The reason I say that is that your high-powered uh, uh, wiring and that can uh, short out either on the unswitch power wires, you're too hot, your positive come from the injector harness to the battery that supplies power to the ECM, uh, or the injector harness wires can actually short out between each other on the block and do damage. Uh, the ECM injector power supply is your main power supply for the ECM, so what you're dealing with was, uh, that was, uh, faulty and taken a hit probably from a short or constant low voltage all the time trying to start it or spikes. So uh, as long as you put a new fuel solenoid on it, uh, I would say let's get a new injector harness. And you want to wire that to one pole of one battery, and that's supposed to be unswitched power. Nothing else is supposed to interfere with that. So. Uh, what I'm seeing by your diagrams, you know, it's, you're kind of mixing it up there with the alternator and, uh, and uh, another power supply. So see if you can get that, get your uh, two hots in the ground and fuse them right at the batteries and get that new harness on there. And I noticed that you got a lot of problems with uh, sensors and what have you. And it sounds like to me you're losing your 5-volt reference. Uh, because of wire corrosion and uh, maybe uh, in the plug itself by the ECM. It's getting loose or doesn't fit quite right. So I'd suggest getting both those harnesses. Uh, the uh, one harness is 395 basically 400 bucks for the sensor harness. And then the injector harness is uh, 495 Uh we have them both available to ship today. Uh, it's 20 to 5 right now on Monday. So, if all possible, I, I would suggest to get those harnesses and get all that wiring straightened around, if you can, uh, before you install the ECM. I think I've seen where you did put a new fuel solenoid and cam sensor. Cam sensor won't do any damage really to the ECM unless it gets shorted out by a 12 volt wire or something, but uh, will cause you a lot of headaches down the road. So, uh, that'd be my suggestion to you. So if you've got any other questions, just give me a ring. 810-653-6300. And thanks for, uh, trusting us and take care of your business. Take care.